here from the John and Dee Howard Studios on the campus of Andrews University. Uh, we're here at WAUS. I'm Nicholas Gunn, and I'm here with our special guest today, Kay Anthony. <laughs> hey, thank you for having me, man. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank awesome, you for, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for joining us. So, you. you've been able to, to climb uh, the charts in a lot of different, receiving a lot of different awards. You know, your 2020 EP, uh, The Cure. Uh, which was a Juno Award nominee for Contemporary Christian Gospel Album of the Year. Uh, also, uh, at the Juno, and that was in 2021, uh, your song, uh, Free, uh, was the gospel song, uh, was not one gospel song of the year in 2022 for um, the 42nd annual GMA Canadian um, Covenant Awards. Uh, and just recently, you won uh, the 2024 Juno Award for uh, Contemporary Christian Gospel Album of the Year. Uh, tell me, how has how has how, how has this past week been? I know you've been very busy. Tell us a little bit about you know what's been going on. With yeah, you. very busy. Um, from the moment I won, I was shipped upstairs, starting interviews, and I've been doing interviews. I mean, almost. Well, definitely every day, two times for the day, three times for the day. Um, but it's a blessing. I'm definitely not complaining. Um, it speaks to the fact that the hard work that you put in, um, people are noticing. And um, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful that they, they, they would have seen it fit to bestow, bestow upon myself the, the album of the year, the year winner. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you are, um, you know, you've been able to, you know, again, have a busy week. You know, mm -hmm. you say you got classes, you got interviews, yes, yes. you got, <laughs> you know, tons of different things, flight delays happening. Yeah. Everything's going around around you. So just, again, thank you for being here and joining us today. Uh, so, again, uh, you were not, this isn't the first time you were nominated for the no. Juno Awards. You were nominated um, in 2021. Tell yeah. us about, like, how is it like being nominated for such a huge award, which is like equivalent to like a Grammy mm -hmm. here in the United States, but in Canada? For me, it's humbling because it, it, it what that does for me is for me, it, it causes me to reflect on where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. And um, I had a big dream in terms of when I started doing music, but I never knew how it would play out. And so... When I first was nominated, I reflected on the journey and how I started recording with friends and then to see how God has brought me from Jamaica, uh, recording in Jamaica, coming to Nashville to record, recording in L.A. And I'm just grateful that God would have opened all those doors. And so that nomination is pointing to the fact that when you allow yourself to partner with others who have exceptional talent, you're able to do wonderful things. Yeah, and thinking about, you know, piggybacking off of partnering with others, mm -hmm. uh, you're, uh, you know, seeing the videos of you and the other uh, nominees that yes. were part of this year's nomination class, uh, you guys came together, you guys were singing, I mean, it looked so cool. <laughs> like, tell me a little bit yeah. about that great group. That, that 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 was put together by Sterling John, another one of the nominees, mm -hmm. and um, he contacted me and he said, "Hey, um, before we head to the red carpet, would would you want to for us to you know spend some time worshiping, sharing it on the platform?" And I said yes, and I think that was a wonderful thing. Um, uh, at the end of the day, you would have had one winner in terms of going home with a trophy, but we are all winners as Christians, and so. It was a beautiful moment to spend as brothers and sisters. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about, you know, once you, you know, won that award. Tell me a little bit, like, going up on stage and, you know, receiving that award and, and everything. So I was seated as, at a particular table, some distant from the stage. And um, I remember they were saying to me, I think you're the winner. We're going to give you some good vibes. You know, you're the winner. And um, I was like, no, I, I don't know. Um, they were, they asked if I'd prepared something to say if I'd won and I said no but I think I have what I want to say in my head if they should call my name and so when they called my name I was definitely blown away I was um, elated um, I, just, I composed myself and I wanted to give God thanks I wanted everyone to hear who sh who really should be praised for this momentous um, situation or occasion for myself and it's God um, so I started by saying to God be the glory um, thanking my family because they have been a great support to me 
the, per, the producers who I'm, or I work with, persons who I've written songs with. Um, and it's such a wonderful moment and I'm greatly, greatly appreciative of it and, uh, and, 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 and I feel blessed. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, talking about uh, your journey, you know, to this point, this far, mm -hmm. uh, let's go a little bit now. I know you, you said you're from Jamaica. Tell yes. us a little bit about like life in Jamaica, yeah. uh, how you came here and to Canada and, and, and life. How, how, how's that? How's so that? I, I, I was born in Montego Bay. Okay. Um, grew up in Falmouth. So that entire area. Uh, is the, the we refer to it as a north coast so it's really the tourist area mm -hmm. um my first passion was actually track and field mm. uh because of this issue with the sabbath my mom shipped me off to a adventist high school okay after i'd gotten scholarship to william nib which is the same high school you see in Bowl went to um so you're on the road to the end of next season. <laughs> well, I was doing very, very well in track and field. I was actually established in my hometown as a 100 meter and 200 meter sprinter. Oh. So that affected me a lot in terms of the fact that my mom took me from track and field and sent me to an Adventist school at the time. And um, I grew up in an Adventist home, but I was doing track and field. Right. As I grew older, I realized that it was God's plan. Um, completed high school. I s my mom said, "Hey, what your what your plans are?" You know, I said, "I wanted to be I want to become an agronomist. This is something I'm going to do with agri science and soil testing." So my mom con contacted the school at the time, who said, "Hey, we won't be accepting anyone not until the next year." And so my mom said. I'm not going to leave you and you're not in a tertiary institution. So she said, why don't you do music for a year? You have always been passionate about it. So that's how really I got into music and a backstory of my life. I went to Falmouth All Age, Harrison Memorial High School. And uh, my passion for music really started when I was about 12 years old. I disobeyed my parents. I almost died. Oh, wow. I almost got, I almost drowned. And to this day, even during the time when I was at the, the in Halifax, in the hotel room, I cried, I prayed to God, and I thanked him. The reason for that, I realized that me being disobedient so many, so, so, so many years ago could have cost me mm. the plans that God had for me. Right. And, um... I accepted the plan, my, what my mom put forward, and I went to Northern Caribbean University. Mm. I studied music. After the year, I said to her, I'm going to stay. So I did completed music and mass communication degrees. Um, yeah. All right. Congratulations on that. You know, uh, and tell us a little bit about that. I mean, that story about being like disobedient. How, how, how did you almost drown? So I, I was actually training at a training session for track and field mm -hmm. and some friends of mine came by and said, hey, do you want to come swim? No, I've been warned many times. So uh, as I said, I grew up in a, what's called the North Coast, mm -hmm. which makes it that I live very close to the beach. Right. And uh, sad to say it was a bad day for swimming. Mm -hmm. And I decided to follow my friends. And while when we started swimming, for some reason I diverted and ended up in a different direction. I, I found myself in an area of the water which is like a pool within the sea, so it's a low area. Um, and with that, there's a particular current that runs in that trench. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it pulled me under twice. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm drowning. Because wow. I started taking in a lot of water. I remember so clear my brother was sitting on the shore. I'll never forget. I remember that the pastor saying at some point in time at church that whenever you're in difficulty, call on Jesus. Mm. This was my first encounter with God. And I wow. said, I have no other choice. Mm -mm. There's nothing for me to hold on to. And I said, God, please help me. And just in that moment, I heard someone, someone who, who was a classmate of mine 
shouted my last name saying I shouldn't give up he's coming to save me mm. and he did wow. and um I had promised God that if he had saved me I would give him my life and so I it didn't happen immediately but I think less than a year or a year I decided to commit myself to him and um I start it was during the same time I started singing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and yeah I mean you know as a Christian you know gospel singer and artist mm -hmm. uh, how, how does that uh, how do you infuse that as you know what you do now uh, as a singer how do you infuse christianity uh into your into your work it's who i am i mean i'm a i i, I there's a song i have it says i'm a billboard i'm a billboard for christ i'm a billboard i'm a billboard for christ because of all of what god has done for me i believe i should advertise who he is and so that's how I try to operate in terms of on a day-to-day -day basis. What has God done for me? Mm -hmm. I point people. So as a result of that, I point people to Him because right. um, I've had my struggles as a Christian, mm -hmm. and so because of how kind He has been or forgiving He has been, I just say, you know, I need to let that be heard in songs. Um, inspire others give them hope because sometimes i know people can go through some very dark moments because i have gone through those and I, and I try to give song that people can connect to because as humans we all have a common thread we all go through common experiences and so i try to use the gift to bring healing and hope yeah and i mean i've been able to to listen to your music and hear how, how good it sounds and how inspiring it is. And like, the, I know the song Free, I yeah. mean, I've been listening to that like nonstop yeah. recently. So tell me about the, what is your inspiration to to create music and create sounds like this to, in, that inspires others? It varies. Um, I could, it could be just a conversation we are having and you said something and it sparked something in my mind. Um, free in particular though was was a situation that I was talking to God personal about something. I won't necessarily share exactly what it was, but I think I needed to be set free from something. And um, the idea wasn't in my mind to write a song free. But what happened is I was going to meet my producer on Zoom for a, a songwriting session. And so I knelt at my bed and I said, Oh God, you can't afford to embarrass me. I'm going into this right and I don't know what to say. And I kid you not. As I got up from my knees, I heard this like someone was singing to me. Whom the sun says free is really free indeed. Everything I was, you cast into the sea. Your forgiveness is my only memory. Cause I simply be one whom the sun sets free. And I went into the right, and he said, "My my producer said, you, do you have anything?'" And I said, and I said it back to him. I said, "Do you have anything?" And then I said, "You know what? I have something." And he said, why do you sing it with closed notes at the end? And I said, explain. And he said, why don't you sing it? Whom the sun says free is really free indeed. And it made so much more sense because it gave this uh, sense of freedom because of the, how the notes um, parted at the end. And um, it was a wonderful experience. We actually wrote three songs within in less than an hour and a half. Wow. And that was one of the songs. And that song means so much to me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just the, the power that God has when yeah. we when we reach out to God yeah. and we pray to him. He's to real. Some. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you're you're doing all. So, you, again, you're doing all this uh, while you're a student here. <laughs> Well, actually, I, 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 I released, I, I recorded and released Free before I came here. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been rec doing rec being a recording artist from I was in Jamaica. Oh. And um, coming here has opened 
uh, a wider, I would say, a wider floodgate in terms of working with other persons who is at a certain level mm-hmm. and certain understanding. Um, and focus for myself, I always want to be in a room where I'm not the biggest voice, mm-hmm. but someone in the room is actually more talented, has more knowledge than I do. Mm-hmm. And so God has afforded me that. Um, so I recorded that song, I think, in 2019, if I'm correct, and um, did the video, an awesome video that expresses what the song is saying, John eight thirty six, whom the sun sets free, mm-hmm. that sin sometimes have us bounded and blind and only Jesus Christ can set us free. Right. What are, what are you studying now? Right I'm now? Cu- <laughs> I'm currently in the Master Divinity program at yeah. Andrews University, mm-hmm. and I um, never saw never saw that coming. To be honest, um, that in itself is a a whole story. Um, but I'm grateful that God would even see see it fit, unworthy. Yeah. A clay that is messed up and marred, and yet still He is willing to mold and use me as a vessel. Mm-hmm. What are what are your goals with you know within continuing your ministry even as a senior and you know pursuing this master's uh, master's degree? What are your goals with with that? My ultimate goal is to minister to people to point them to Jesus Christ. That hey, you know I was I I did an interview earlier in 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 the week and the person asked, "Do you sing songs only for Christians?" And I said, "No, I sing songs to give to point." to give hope and healing and to point people to Jesus Christ. And I said, hey, if I know a good deal and we are friends, I'm going to tell you about it. If I had some nice ice cream that you have never had before, I'm going to say, hey, I think it needs to try out this. And so I said, that's my experience with Jesus. And so I'm telling you to try him. So it's simple. Ministry for me is just pointing people to Jesus Christ, Mm -hmm. trying to live a wholesome life um acknowledging him for what he has done in my life and what he's what he is continuing continuing to do in my life on a daily basis and submitting to him as much as i can and so yeah point people to him and say hey give him a try right yeah and and i know that's that's what we have to do you know as as christians and uh you know receiving awards you know like the juno award Mm -hmm. uh uh, how how do you think that uh, process moves moves your your overall goal with you know continuing to push the kingdom kingdom of God? It has given me a voice, opened doors for me to do a lot more interviews and um, possibly a lot more performances where you are placing somewhat of the center stage and you can share this wonderful message um, as a believer, as a disciple. So. I think it does give me more leverage um, to bring to, 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 to bring the message of Jesus Christ to a dying world. Right, yeah. And how do you um how do you like cope that like for people that are you know, that you see here even at Andrews <laughs> University, they wanna start their music career. Uh, there's there's others that, you know, are just now starting. Do you have any like words of wisdom or uh, anything that you want to let them know to tell them like hey you can get your start and you can pursue this and continue to push the kingdom of god further for sure one i think you should know if this is what god wants you to be in as i think that's the first thing um you have to have passion for it because it's hard work a lot of tears at times if you're very serious about what you're doing um Learn to bring around you a team of people who is like mind and um, is willing to possibly sacrifice as you have sacrificed because that's how I started. I started with friends who were willing to create beats for free mm-hmm. and we just realized it was something we're doing together right. as a community. And um, then I ended up with being left alone because we all divert. But I would say be consistent, be persistent always be a student of the art so that you can always be learning never act like you know more or less but you just say hey listen to whatever point point someone has to share or or give to you um have a high standard of what you want to 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 achieve Mm -hmm. 
I've, that's something that people know me as has known me for. Um, I, I, I make comparison. I don't necessarily compare, but I look at the industry standard, see where where I'm at, and I work with people who I think can bring me to that place. Why? Because I'm appealing to the wider audience. Mm -hmm. I will say this. I never plan to sing music to my family. I plan to sing music to thousands of people. Mm -hmm. And that's not said in a boastful way. It's said in a way because I know of whom I believe in. And so I want to share it, not just with one person. My hope is that many persons would, would, would be able to be captured by the message that I have to bring. Um... Just partnering with people. Um, yeah, and just working hard. Mm -hmm. that, that first point you made about, you know, again, like creating a support system. Yes. Uh, when you went up to receive your award, you also talked, uh, you gave shout outs to, you know, what may be your support system. That's right. Uh, tell me, tell me if you're those people and tell me a little bit about your, you know, how they've get you to this point I'll my parents you. is my biggest support system i'm gonna and my dad is a great dad my parents are still married so i don't want it to mm. sound crazy <laughs> but my mom is is genuinely so influential in me doing music as i tell you the story it was my mom's idea for me to do music and i personally felt like the holy spirit spoke through her for me to do music um so she's my biggest support i would say right my wife is my cheerleader. Like she has had me down for a while, and so it means so much to me. My kids, um, they generally most of the times hear the song first, so they will share if they like something <laughs> or not. Right. Um, my brother, my as I mentioned, my dad, um, the producers that I've worked with, uh, they are the one who allow it to to be possible. My great friend in Canada who he he would just call me and said, uh, especially if he heard a song and think, man, this song hits home. He would just call me and say, hey, bro, there's some money sent to your account. I want you to use it to pay for the mixing. So I couldn't do it by myself. Right. So it's a community that I've had around me for quite some time that have helped me to achieve all of this. Yeah, and I'll say, um, out of all the projects and songs that you've been able to produce and work on, what would you say is the most touching to you? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. So there's a song I have titled "Don't Give Up." You should check it if you have if you haven't. <laughs> I wrote that song when I was extremely depressed. And, um, I remember with the, with someone said to me, there's two songs. Someone whom I know contacted me and said, I don't think you know how impactful you are. You are. I said, I've been so depressed and this song get me through the day. That means so much to me. It's it means more than any um, concert hall I can perform in. I think the biggest one is some years ago. Uh, I was still in Jamaica. I have a song titled "Already Better," and I had some issues with it. I don't. I won't get into it. Uh, where someone I'd make some claims to the song. I forgive the person and um, the reason why I didn't pull the song someone wrote on the under the song and God allowed me to see it and I felt impressed to reach out to the person and ask them their story so I reached out to the person and said I'd like to talk to you and the person said I said I'm the writer for the song and the person contacted me and he said hey I got called into the doctor's office and was told that I was HIV positive. And she said, when I got out of the doctor's office, I was devastated. She said, as soon as I turned the car on, she said, that song came on. Because she, she said she was thinking to just drive off into the traffic. Because mm. she felt like her world had come to an end. And that was a wow moment for me and to see the impact that 
one can have through singing songs that inspire and give hope and speak of a savior who loves people and so yeah those are two probably of my biggest moments yeah, yeah to, some, to somebody that's you know dealing in a deep you know a deep time in their life a mm -hmm. deep deep moment of depression how do you think you know as an artist uh how can somebody get over that it's not over until God says so. So don't you give up now. Don't you give up now, yeah. Darker days are just before the dawn. Don't you give up now. Don't you give up now. Just know that after every rain, the sun is sure to come out. And so your situation won't stay the same. Trust God with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all the ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. path. Just have faith and know that God has your back. For sure. Amen. Well, thank you so much for, you know, giving me some of your time. Yes. Uh, and is there, where can people find out more about you? Where can we get some more great music uh, from Mr. K. Anthony? Well, you can follow me on Instagram at K. Anthony Live, Facebook.com K. Anthony Live. Um, on Spotify, it's K. Anthony. On Apple, it's K. Anthony. Uh, on Twitter, it's K. Anthony Live. On my website, it's K. Anthony. K. Anthony Live Music. So, yeah. Any, upcoming, have any upcoming performances or? Should upcoming? be performing in Canada. Um, I sh I was invited to to perform locally here in Michigan next to next week Saturday night. Um, yeah, and and they can always follow on the website and see where I'm performing next. All yeah. right. Well, sounds great. Well, thank you so much, and it's been a pleasure. Uh, anything else, any last words you'd like to, to give to our audience? Hey, life sometimes can be hard. However, look at the glasses half full instead of half empty. Be positive and know that you will make it. You can make it. It all starts with the mindset and trust in God.